Hey, how's everybody out there doing today? Well, we're at our local Walmart. We're going to go inside and see what's going on in here. I drove down to the big Walmart that I always go to that I've talked about in some of my videos. And because uh, the Walmart up by me, they don't have shit on the shelves. So we're going to go inside and uh, hopefully see what they got. And hopefully they have everything I need. So come along and join me on a ride. So the soap aisle and stuff. Pretty good. Plenty of lights. Looks like they're pretty well stocked on camping gear. Got plenty of mountain house. Prices are still pretty relatively inexpensive, which is a good thing. So what a difference when you go to a big store, they get all the product. You can see, it's all pretty much stocked. See, got plenty of ball jars. We're having a whole end cap. There's a few empty holes, but they got pressure cookers, dehydrators, the whole nine yards, food savers, vacuum sealers. So they're pretty well stocked and all that kind of stuff. Quite amazed. what I found back on the shelf finally. Lights all, disinfectant wipes. They're totally stocked up in this store. There's a few empty holes, but as you can see, some things are fronted. Not fully stocked, but it's getting there. All right. Get down to the bleach section. As you can see, bleach is still in high demand. Yeah. Bottled water used to be 88 cents. 98 cents now, went up 10 cents. Hmm. 40 packs used to be 3.98. Now they're 5.88. Gatorade aisle is still empty. Body armor, drinks that you need when it's hot outside, but it's still in high demand. Still empty. Walmart's cottage cheese they haven't had in I don't know how long now. It's ridiculous. Not much on the shelves for that. Toilet paper, as you can see. There's still big holes. Not much on the shelves in Ranger's room. Chips. They're pretty well stocked. Junk food is. Paper towels. They're looking pretty good. I mean, overall, they're all stocked up all the way to the top shelf of paper towels paper products, all that kind of stuff. Finally all back on the shelf. That's looking pretty good. Overall, I'm pretty impressed so far. Canned meats are back. Got chicken breast. Yeah, sausages, spam, corned beef. Tuna fish is all back. It's a little down. I will have to say that the spaghetti aisle used to be a whole bunch. It sunk tremendously. It's amazing. 
Wow. So you can see cut the green beans are fully in stock. You can't get French style. They're like gone. You can get the big can. That's all they have. You can't get the small cans. But they're still 50 cents a can, so it's not bad. Can't go dry, looks pretty good. Can't complain. Food section, since I'm here first thing in the morning, it's pretty full. Not a lot of steaks. Ribeyes are pretty expensive. Not a lot. Well, overall, I have to say the store was pretty well stocked. Prices have definitely gone way up. Was able to get just about everything. I think there was like a couple things on my list that um, just wasn't available. But, you know, that's how it goes. Sometimes that would happen in normal times. But the store down here... It's pretty well stocked and ready to go. Just goes to show you, you know, sometimes you got to go to another area to get what you were looking for and what you want. Because like the Walmart that's up real close to my house, it's a small little Walmart and they ain't got nothing. You go in there, you can't buy bottled water sometimes. You know, milk is low. It's just amazing the difference between two stores and a 20 mile drive. So... With gas prices going up, it's just going to make it more difficult for people to find what they're looking for and what they need. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Hope you enjoyed this short little video on what's going on at my local Walmarts. One has stuff, one doesn't. Go figure. The sign of the times, folks. Prep while you can. Try to survive. Till next time, catch you all on the flip side. Thank mm -hmm. you.